Josh, physically, you, you, you doing good? Yes, sir. Everything holding up? Yes, sir. I feel, feel like I'm back to, to my old self. Just got to make sure I'm careful. Make sure I'm doing anything crazy before the season starts. But I, I feel like I'm back, though. What was the key to your recovery? It was pretty quick. Um, my rehab. Dave, I, I was in rehab almost like two to three times a day sometimes. Uh, just staying dedicated. Because it's a long process, so I knew it was going to take a long time to get back to where I needed to be. So. Just get <coughs> two or three times a day, making sure I stayed on top of all my table work and everything they told me to do. And just being having the right mindset, that's really the big thing about getting back for anybody that has injuries. You just gotta have the right mindset to, to know that you're ready to get back on the field and being on the sideline was really boring, so I had to make sure I get back sooner or later. You Josh, Coach Johnson said that you would physically would have been able to go in the spring, they were just being precautionary. Did you feel like you would have been able to go three, four months ago? Yes, sir. Uh, Spring, I, uh, spring. I felt like I was, I, I would have been able to go and play the game the whole entire game. But Malzahn and the coach uh, Johnson didn't want me to do anything. Just wanted me to be on the safe side for the season and not risk anything or re hurt anything during springtime. How hard was it last year to not be a part of what we were on? Uh, it, it tore me apart. Uh, I felt, I felt real down for about. Two for a good week and a half or two, knowing that I wouldn't be able to finish out the season. But as the season went on, I was just happy to, to be with my teammates and watch them do the things that we did and finish the season how we did. So, I mean, it was a bad thing not being able to play, but just being able to be around my teammates was still a good thing. Have you been spending more time at Boundary Corner or safety? Uh, pretty, mostly corner. I've been doing a lot of corner work now, so I'll probably be in the uh, corner position come game time. You like that? Yeah, you know, uh, corner and safety is pretty much the same to me because we play a lot of man. So, I mean, either one is pretty much the And I'm comfortable with both, so I feel happy playing either one. So when did you, you find out you're moving back? Uh, once we came back for team camp, well, yeah, once like team camp or somewhere in the summer, they told me that they wanted me to, to train for a corner, but also still know some safety work just in case. Something happens in uh, secondary where I have to move back to safety. So I'm still learning everything pretty much. So you guys are working in like an expanded dime with the three safeties, three corners the past couple of days? Yeah, yeah, it's a, some new defense we're putting in. It's really, we really like it. Uh, that, put, that, that defense there puts me back at safety. But, you know, like I said before, the, the training that I did at safety prepared me for this defense. So that's why I'm able to go back there. Josh, tackle that? Yeah, I did a little tackling drill just to. Get back in and uh, still still have a little jitters in there, so I had to get him out my system. But yeah, I did a little tackling drills today. I felt good. So that was the first time. Yeah, that first that first so time last since year. last year, and then some tackling drills. So it felt good to be back out there. How much did it kind of bother you when it happened that you did it? You injured it on a non-contact, you know, play. Yeah, uh, I just felt like it was meant to happen. If it happened like that, I felt like it was meant to happen and it was going to happen. So. I mean, you couldn't, I couldn't really get down about it uh, like I was before. I had a lot of, had a lot of positive people talk to me and tell me just to keep my head up. And that it was just a minor setback for something major to come. So I just had to get the right mindset to come back for it. What do you see from this defense? <laughs> what do you see from this defense? Uh, a lot of potential. We got a lot of, we have a lot of starters coming back and a lot of, a lot of vets who've been in the system before. So I see a lot of, I see, a, a, a great defense in that in the making. Uh, all we have to do is just keep the mark right mindset and just keep coming to practice every day to work hard, and we're going to have one of the best defenses in the country. What was it like to, to get back in full pass today, and, and how physical did you guys get? It was great. It was good for the team. Uh, we've been in shells, and I think everybody gets excited, especially defense, because the offense feels like they be, they're they're running us when we just have on shorts and stuff. So I think it's great for us to get the pass and get the. Get a little contact going on and get ready for the for for tomorrow and the uh, head of practice. Do you think it's all about trying to fill Chris Davis' shoes? Now that you're playing his spot. Oh, uh, it's big. Uh, I know. I know it's a big spot to fill from what he did last year. But I know from my freshman year watching him because I played boundary corner as well. So I, mean, I played corner as well. So I, I, I watched Chris Davis a lot. Uh, I, I I know everything he did and he taught me a lot of things. So I know it's a lot of like, big shoes to fill, but. I feel I'm, I'm capable of filling those shoes. Do you think about the injury when you're out there at all now? No, I, I try. I try to eliminate that once I get on the field. I try to just just play, you know, because if I think about it, then I'm gonna be hesitant on 
on making a tackle or breaking on a, a route or anything. So once practice starts and once we get the floor, I try to eliminate that I have a brace on or eliminate that I was ever injured. How, how comfortable are you out there with the brace and kind of moving side to side? All the uh, I feel I feel great. You know. I can run the fourth flat right now, but <laughs> the brace is comfortable and everything. It feels good. I don't really, I don't really feel it when I'm out there. I just try to, just try to play and, and just make make as many plays as possible when I'm out there. What's a what's Last Derek, one? What's it like working with Derek, Derek Moncrief? What are you seeing out of him? Oh, Moncrief is going to be a good one. He, he he's a, a really big safety. Uh, he, he he's smart. He he works really hard. He's going to be one of the good ones to, to help his defense get to where he needs to be at the bounds of safety. Since that's really what we, the uh, coach, Coach Johnson likes at the bounds of safety, a really big guy. So he, he's going to help us a lot right there in that position. And he's coming along. He works hard, and, and he, he has a great mindset. So Derek, Derek is coming along good.